women hate each other because they know each other, because they know each other's nature. How many women have you seen that have been lifelong friends with another woman ever since their elementary school till the day they die? How many women have you seen who have friends like that? There's always a change of groups that they're going through. In middle school, they had a, they had a group. In uh, high school, they have another group. In college, it's a completely different group, maybe in a sorority or a sports team, whatever she's into. It's because they honestly aren't even friends with each other. The true meaning of friendship is what you see when you look at guys being friends with each other. We have bro codes. We have codes that we don't break. We have morals. Hell, we even go above and beyond to help our brothers out. If it's that close of a friend to you. Right? I have a friend since high school. And I'm still friends with him. Since my freshman year of high school, I'm still friends with him. We, the, 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 the term day one. It comes from guys' friendships. How many girls' day ones do you know? If she's 32 and she supposedly has a day one right now, and you ask her, how long has this individual day one has been your day one? It probably won't even be 10 years since she was 32, uh, 22. The reason behind is is because women know that they're manipulative. They know that they don't have any morals, they don't have any codes. They know that they will sleep with each other's man behind each other's back if the right situ under the right circumstances. They know that um, they have to survive. And they, all of these things that they do, they, the fact that they don't have loyalty, more, more, any kind of morals, is just to survive. It's hardware and programmed in their head. What do I mean by that? Back in the days when we were living as cavemen, women used to <clears throat> travel, do things in a group, right? They, like a very big group, the wives, the mothers, the daughters, they would go ahead and do farm work, take care of the kids, while men went out and hunted. Yeah, men were in a group too, but on, when they were hunting some, a bigger, bigger animal, something big. If there was just, just like a, a, a deer or some ducks or chicken or turkey or something in that kind, it was probably one guy or two guys max. Because men don't have that need to be collective. This is why you see men are introvert for the most part, while females are extrovert. Because that nature... Excuse me. That collectiveness that they had back in those days is still hardwired in them. That's why you see girls go to the bathroom together. How many, how many times have you seen dudes go to the bathroom together? In a group of three, four dudes. <laughs> That's why you see that when you go to a high school campus or a college campus... College, I mean, there's differences in colleges, right? I'll, I'll get to that in a little bit. But especially in high school or middle school, right? Or even elementary school. You look around the lunchroom. All the girls you're going to see are going to be in groups. Groups of other girls, maybe a couple of guys in there. But you'll never see girls by themselves. Vast majority of girls. Yes, there's still exception to the rules where you see a couple of girls here and there by themselves. Those are usually the ugly ones. I'm not talking down on anyone. I'm not trying to hurt anyone's feelings. But if your feelings are hurt, sorry. Deal with it. I'm not talking down on anyone. I'm not trying to spread a bad message, bad message or nothing like that. I'm just showing you guys what the truth is. Am I wrong here, fellas? You see the ugly girls or the fat girls by themselves. Usually. And even then, they have a couple friends, one or two friends uh, around them or one or two beta males around them, orbiting them, better male orbiters, right? Very rarely will you see a girl just by herself. It happens usually when she's new to the area, she moved in, 
transfer school, something like that. In college days, now everything's different, right? There's more girls by themselves in colleges. But what are they doing? Are they sitting somewhere, spending time by themselves? Just doing nothing? No, they're going to classes, most likely. So they have, they're doing something. Or they're doing homework if they're sitting by themselves doing somewhere. Or they're waiting on a friend to come to. This is why women always need somebody or somebodies around them. They cannot live alone. Just ask any girl who has moved to a city all by herself. Just ask her. How does she feel? Compared to a man who has moved to a new city. Take, fellas. There's way more men moving to new cities by themselves, no, not knowing anyone, not knowing anything, than there are females doing the same thing. If, she's go, if she goes off to another college after high school, chances are she knows at least one other person who's going to that same college from her high school. And if she doesn't, this is where that introvert, extrovert things come in. She's going to make girlfriends very quickly. Guys, we just sit back and whatever. We'll talk to people in our classes, but even if we don't, who, whatever, who cares? We're just perfectly fine by ourselves because we're introvert like that. This is why girls are quote-unquote friends because they need each other to survive. They need, they need to talk about each other's love life, work life, financial life. They need to gossip, always gossip, gossip, gossip. They always need to talk, 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 talk. Statistics, study shows that women talk, women say more words than men do in a day. I forgot the exact numbers, but you guys can look it up. An average woman, the average number of words that she says is way more than a man. Because she needs to relieve all that out of her, all that stress, all that, everything that she has inside of her. This is why I tell you guys, don't tell women anything. She's not going to be able to keep anything a secret. My own mother couldn't keep my secrets, and I'm her son, which got me into trouble, but that's another video topic. Okay? This is why they need each other. This is why they need that group of people to text, 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 and talk, and always be surrounded by somebody. But when you're not truly friends with anyone, when you don't really care about that person, because they're, all of them in that group has that need, right? to be in a group, to be collective. So they're all using each other. They don't have any morals, they're, they don't, they're not really friends. They're not really quote unquote best friends or whatever, friends. They're just using each other, fellas. And when people use each other, when a relationship becomes strong quote unquote or when a relationship starts to flow starts to move in the to, towards the future from a from a foundation of using each other instead of a foundation of true friendship and true true uh and uh, true friendship loyalty and trust instead of do those things if a relationship builds on purely based on selfishness that relationship how long do you think that relationship is going to last? It's not going to last forever. It's not going to last too long. One year, two years, four years, six years. And then they're going to drift away. They're not even going to tell each other, Oh, girl, you're so, you're so selfish. You all, you're so narcissistic. They're not even going to talk crap on, to each other's face. It's always going to be behind their back. And then one person is probably going to start talking crap behind another person's back and that's going to spread because as I said, women always talk, talk, talk. So the person who just, who they just talk behind their, uh, who just, who they just talk crap, talk crap on behind their back, that person is going to eventually hear about it from somebody else in the group. And then that's when friction starts to build up in the relation, in the, in the friend, in the friend circle. And then that person who just heard about it from somebody else, he probably, she probably said something about that other individual. And in the, in the process of these other friends who are spreading this message, in the process of doing so, those friends are probably telling each other uh, things that they don't like about somebody else in the group. You see how cluster F this is? How messed up the, the whole situation gets? And eventually, 
they all just drift, 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 drift apart instead of um, actually asking anyone about it, instead of trying to talk to about it, instead of confronting somebody about it. Women will never confront you like that. Unless you cheat on her and she suspects it or she finds out. That's the only time she's going to try to confront you about anything. She's the, they, they don't confront each other, their friends. Nothing. Because they don't care. In the back of their head, they're using them for their own needs. Because they, can't, they cannot survive without them. This is why women hate each other. Because they know each other. Fellas, remember this. Okay, this is very useful information, very useful knowledge. They don't even like each other. Why are we supposed to respect them, like them, not hate on them? I mean, I take that back. We're not supposed to hate on them. I don't, I don't encourage you guys to hate on anybody. But why are we supposed to pedestalize them, respect them for nothing when they haven't earned any of it? They don't even like each, their own species, their own gender. Because they know how messed up it is. And I'm trying to show you guys the information that you have been blinded by. That, that everybody kept you blinded from. Hope this video made sense. Give it a thumbs up. Like, comment, subscribe. Share the videos from this channel. Help your other brothers out. A lot of people need to know this message. A lot of people are frustrated, lost, wasting their time, life, and money and energy on useless things, chasing the wrong type of women, chasing women in general, because they don't know about women's nature. They're doing things that they've been told, they've been brainwashed to do their whole life, instead of how it actually should be done, which is what red pill information, which is what red pill knowledge gives you, which is what red pill knowledge tells you, shows you, teaches you. You don't get this knowledge, you don't get this lesson anywhere. Not in your school, not in your middle school, not from your parents, not from your friends, not from your college professors, nobody. Until next time, stay blessed, stay beautiful, and above all, stay classy.